Hello everyone. Right, this video is going to be a really short one because it's going to cover a very boring but very important topic and I meant to make a video on this um, much earlier in the year but I decided not to because it's so boring and I didn't think anybody would watch it. But after having not one but two of my friends having their Etsy shops hacked this week, I've decided to make it and if nobody watches it, well, more fool you. No, no, seriously. After you finish watching this video, you can do something in your shop that is going to take mere minutes, probably even less than that, and it will future-proof your shop. It will stop people from being able to hack it. And that is two-factor authentication. So simple. And this is the sort of thing that weeds out the people who've got like a hobby side hustle to the people who are genuinely taking their shops seriously. That being said, I like to feel that I fall into that category and yet, I hadn't done it. In my defence, I thought I had. <laughs> As I was talking to my friend, I remember thinking, oh, thank God I've done it. And then I thought, I mean, I've done it. I can't remember doing it, but I'm, I've done it. I'm almost 90% sure that I've done it. And so I went to check and I hadn't done it. So I have now. And I am making this video so that you can too. I'm even going to show you where to go because so if you want to protect your shop from getting closed down and the whole headache of having to try and contact Etsy and don't forget having to contact your bank because once they get into your shop they have access to your credit card and all of that fun, you will first need to go to the Etsy homepage. Come with, come with. Okay, so you're on the homepage and you can see that I've been looking for a lot of paper plants lately. Uh, right, okay, so from here you go up to your account click and go down to account settings and this will take you to your account settings page and from here you go to security and here it is it's as simple as that you can choose whether or not to use a authenticator app get codes via text message have someone phone you and there's also an option to get some backup codes which i strongly advise i've chosen text messages and also to receive an email when your account is accessed from a new device or browser and i suggest clicking that too if you choose text messages or phone you will obviously have to enter in your phone number but it is so simple you can do this in a matter of minutes there you go that is it so quick and easy so quick and easy, in fact, that I'm going to end this video now so that you can go on and do that. Do that. Now. Go on. And I'll see you next week.